Well, there is a familiar sign, literally. It's that time of year again when some city streets begin looking more like the surface of the moon. It is pothole time, and the suspension in your vehicles or maybe the forks in your bike know all about it. The holes are opening up sooner than usual thanks to an early cold fall as the wet pavement freezes and thaws and then falls apart. But the hot patch crew is filling those holes up as fast as they can. Some are small and deep, others wide and shallow. No matter the dimensions, potholes can be more than a nuisance. They can injure and damage people and vehicles. There's four main factors, traffic, temperatures, um, basically heat and thaw cycles, or freeze and thaw cycles, and then water. Furtado, no relation to Nelly, has been watching roads for Victoria for 38 years. If you see a crack on the road, remember what Furtado says, every crack is a potential pothole. And what causes the cracks? Water. Water expands 10% when it freezes. The extra water penetrates the pavement and the hole begins. Road quality is a factor, so is the soil underneath. Peat and clay hold more water and make for holier roads. On clear, sunny days like today, Victoria Public Works can use a permanent hot mix to remedy the patchwork pavement. We're tamping it, we're sealing it, so it should last. Uh, had it been raining, and uh, we have been using a cold mix, which, again, it's strictly a temporary uh, solution. Patching potholes involves digging out the area, cleaning it, filling it with an asphalt mix, binding it with a tiger torch, raking it, and tamping it. Ends through the lower control arm, broken... Potholes are good for something. Business at auto repair shops. A tire with a shimmy or an offset steering wheel may be the first signs of damage. Shocks, struts, control arms, frame damage to extremes. Um, tire damage, for sure. Uh, wheel alignment problems. While motorists have a lot of heavy metal to brace for the pothole impact, cyclists risk life and limb on unstable roads. Few options other than swerving into the road or into parked cars, uh, other than hitting the pothole, which can be very dangerous, and it can uh, cause flat tires, it can cause you to crash. Adding insult to injury for cyclists, their already slim stretch of roadway is most likely to host potholes. They're on the uh, on a curb lane, and that's where most of the water settles. Um, water that settles gets eventually into the uh, into the uh, under the pavement. Does it appear the city is overrun with potholes? Furtado says it's just that Victoria is so mild that they can patch and pave 12 months a year. Oh, well, here they go. It's a city of potholes, but in fact, we're probably better off than most other cities. Cold comfort when the hot mix is doled out on a near daily basis. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.